Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the audio services not responding in Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to uninstall any audio software that might be hindering your Windows services. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side select the install apps category. Now in here, if you have any audio software that might be problematic, make sure to uninstall it. So in my case, we will try the Realtek Audio Console. Just click on the ellipses next to it and then select the uninstall option. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the audio driver. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and now in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Sound, Video and Game Controllers and then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. From here on just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers for your PC. Now you can just close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution would be to also uninstall the drivers. So to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and now in the Device Manager window, expand again Sound, Video and Game Controllers, right click on the problematic device and select the Uninstall Device option. Once again, confirm by ticking the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device then select the uninstall button to confirm your decision. Now just wait until the procedure is finished and restart your computer. And then after restarting your computer, you will see that Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers for this device. And you can just check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Audio service. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Services and then select it as an application from the search results. In here, as you can see, the list is quite long, so if you want to find this service faster, make sure to click on a random service and type the first letter of the service you're looking for. In our case, W from Windows. Now scroll down until you find the Windows Audio service, double click on it and the first thing you have to do if the service status is set to running, click on the Stop button. Now I can't stop this service as I'm recording this actual video, but simply click on this button, make sure that the startup type is selected to automatic, and then once again select the start button to restart this service. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to perform a system restore. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then type in RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. Now the next move is to click on next, choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred, then select next once again and lastly click on finish to start the restoration procedure. Afterwards just restart your computer and check once again if the issue still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.